Alrighty guys, welcome to layout update number two of my industrial park uh, HO scale layout. Uh, just going to cover things I think I've done since the last update. Uh, I'm also going to be asking uh, anybody who sees or views this to give me kind of a little bit of feedback on the this backdrop here. I'm just trying it out to see what it... Uh, what it'll end up kind of looking like once I put put it finalized down. If this is what I'm gonna to want to use, it's it's definitely a little bit off in certain spots, but I wanted just to kind of get an idea. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the scenery I have gotten done since the last update. I might have not had pay, uh, the pave it in um, pavement pave it system or whatever the heck this. This crap is in right here where the, the loading area for the hoppers, tank cars, and box cars. Because in this area is going to be a uh, a uh, food dis distribution uh, warehouse. This back track will actually have like a hood that will go over the top of it all the way down. And then it will basically just have poles. And then you, the, back, the background will be like a, a background building uh, with four individual... Um, loading dock, loading dock bays, uh, the the doors. That way they line up and the cars enter perfectly, and it'll end right where that car is at. Back there, you have the the scrap the scrap metal industry. Uh, I'm, I still haven't gotten the uh, gir girdered fencing or the uh, shed that I'm wanting to place on top. There are two tracks actually on for this industry they will tend to take three or four cars in three or four cars out so picks and sets will be really really easy and you've got the small fiddle yard through here that makes the job way easier uh, when switching out cars throughout this entire layout um, we get over here and then you continue down just like in the last video the abandoned track that runs through here and ends where the parking lot will be here let me back this up a little bit it'll be uh, a little bit more detailing before i'm finished and i'm going to do some pavement around the furniture the distribution factory it'll get uh, a couple box cars at a time with occasional like center beams or uh bulkhead flats you get around here I don't know if in the last video, but there's a this turnout right here. I had not had it in, in originally, but I was like, man, I really want a team track. So I went ahead and installed the turnout. And then being that there's a little bit of a gap back there, I'm gonna use this background warehouse. I, I've still gotta put the rest of it together. I'm gonna have that kind of right there, being that there's pavement already down in, painted, base painted. Uh, no way there's a little bit of a background industry that's not directly got a rail that goes and serves it but it's right next to one we we'll continue on past the only grade car crossing on the layout did a little bit more scenery scenery work through here added some rusted rails that have been changed out i think i'm gonna do that in a couple more places i've got the uh, slide in or drop in uh spot the door sp uh door piece i apologize i'm stuttering uh, this is still way rough in terms of scenery uh, and ballasting, uh, but I put that corner piece in there. Um, this is the staging yard. I have my offset staging shelves right there. And then the staging yard, which honestly, in my opinion, actually looks pretty good, as well as having up the uh, plexiglass, which the plexiglass I do plan on putting around most of this i don't know if i'm going to put any right there and i don't know if i want to put any on this side over here and the reason being is because i do intend on turning uh switching out these turnouts with more you know higher quality ones i didn't ever want to have like a switch machine i want you to basically have to unlock a box and you have to unlock a uh, padlock in order to then you know simulate a more prototypical operation where you, once you unlock that then you can go ahead and flip the switch i'll get the switch stands as well 
little engine switcher back there. I do have a train show that I'm going to this weekend and I do plan on getting an additional switcher, um, potentially two. I just have that one sitting back there. Uh, but then yeah, as, as I think I've explained in the last video, then that back line right there is the main line. The two sidings, I've added a little bit of grass turf in there, but eventually I want to do maybe some static grass on this third track right here. The, the second, the third siding or siding, two siding, whatever heck I want to call it, uh, and make it more like kind of in the weeds. But overall, guys, yeah, I just, I just added this backdrop. Let me know what y'all think. I really wanted to put an update. I have been definitely working on this and running trains on it uh since i up last uploaded um hopefully i'm able to get another update for on this here soon i'm gonna add like that fascia board all the way around um that way it just fits more smoothly you know it just kind of looks funky like this i'll add the curtains for underneath and use that to cover up storage but yeah, guys this is my industrial park layout so far let me know what you think Thank you guys so much for, or women, guys, whoever watches this, thank you very much for watching. I just want to be a part of the uh, YouTube model rail or rail fanning community in general and bring in some uh, Texas rail fanning. I think it's underrepresented. So uh, thank you for letting me share and I hope to get another update on here soon as well as an update on my main layout, which is outside of this room and the main layout and when completed will be a triple decker layout based between 1910 to 1930 uh and it's going to be on the gulf coast lines or also known as the st louis brownsville mexico so uh thank you for thank you so much for watching guys i'll, I'll see y'all next time